So we still have, on va, on va accueillir uh, le dernier orateur. We're going to receive our last speaker. Qui est uh, ambassadeur Charlie Masala. He's an ambassador Charlie Masala. Et rapidement, uh, c'est un conférencier. And quickly, un confer mm -hmm. C'est un conférencier. Uh, he's a, 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 a person who holds conferences. Oui, et un expert en management. And he's also an expert in management. Il travaille avec beaucoup, beaucoup d'entreprises et d'organisations en Afrique du Sud. He works with different companies and organizations in South Africa. Jusqu'au point, il a été désigné l'un des 100 leaders les plus influents en Afrique du Sud, chrétien. And to the point, he was appointed one of the best Christian leaders in, in South Africa. Oui. Le travail qu'il fait, il est tellement louable The works he does is very, uh, celebrated. Il a aussi été nommé euh, ambassadeur mondial de la paix des Nations Unies. He was also appointed to be the World Peace Ambassador in the UN. Et euh, bien évidemment, il sert dans plusieurs des organisations euh, de uh, Miles et Ruth Monroe. And of course, also he works in different organizations of, uh, of uh, Dr. Miles Monroe. Et c'est un auteur aussi. Uh, il a deux livres qui sont aussi disponibles sur Amazon. Also, he's a, a doctor. He's also a book author. He has uh, three, no, two books available on Amazon. Et donc, c'est un plaisir pour lui, pour nous, de l'accueillir. Un autre, une autre personne qui a été encadrée par uh, le Dr. Miles Monroe. So it is a pleasure for us to receive one of those who were trained by Dr. Miles Monroe. Vous êtes le bienvenu. You are warmly welcome. And he is going to finish in French. He's going to continue in French. Comment ça va? Vous m'êtes écouté? I am very pleased to be here today. It is a privilege for me and a pleasure to be here. Uh, in 2011, en 2011, as I was working with Dr. Miles Monroe, Leading his organization for Africa. God gave put Burundi in my heart. I didn't know anybody in Burundi. But the Lord opened the doors. And we came here to serve. So today I feel very honored to be back. Uh, this time invited, invited guest by, by my brother Destry and uh, Charissa and this beautiful church Pastor Diodone I give honor to you and your organization here your foundation, the church, foundation, the église, and it's just an honor for us to be here. Uh, I have 30 minutes to deliver what I need to deliver. So I'm going to go straight to what I have been invited for. Uh, I can have my presentation up to use. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you today about the Oh, is that me moving it? Yes. Now I know. Forward is not backwards. I'm going to talk to you today about customer services as a tool to effective business development. That is the topic I'm given. Customer service. Uh, of course, I bring you greetings from my family. That's my beautiful wife. And our three girls. I was born in a village. We lived in huts. 
in the northern part of in the northern part of South Africa. I used to sleep downstairs. Hey, I'm trying to get used to this. Okay. So forward we go. Back was never. Okay. So we used to live in huts. I used to sleep downstairs. And now I live, I, I sleep upstairs. Just God's grace. I used to sleep with uh, in the other accommodation. We used to share accommodation with goats. And cockroaches. And rats. Uh, yeah, here now I sleep where rats can't find me. Uh, I live in the capital of uh, South Africa, Pretoria. And I, I invite you when you get time to come and visit. I was raised by Dr. Miles Monroe from my teenagehood. So, so I just want to give honor to whom honor is due to what I do all over the world when I speak. Uh, he is the man who made me what I am today. And uh, I give honor to him. 27 years. Service. That means, that means I would have that means I would have gotten a 10 year service twice, uh, plus almost another 10 years. Almost three decades of working with him. And I give honor to him today. I, I, I've written a book, as it was said, it's called Black Son, White Mother. It is a book on how to manage diversity. It talks about how to unleash the power of diversity in the workplace. This is my newest book. It is called My Life and Times with Miles Monroe. I wrote this book out of uh, trying to answer questions that people were asking me. So if you want to know more, the book is on Amazon. I don't have any copy with me here today. And uh, since Dr. Miles Monroe left, uh, we continue with the work of uh, pursuing the vision that he left with us, which is transforming followers into leaders and leaders into agents of change. And God has blessed us with this campus. Beautiful campus. campus and you can tell that I'm not starting. We are not starting. We are continuing. Because the blessing of our Father is upon us. Okay, let's talk about building this strong brand through customer service. I have been consulting with uh, South African organizations and some organizations abroad in my area of management consulting. And I came to a realization that business it's about customer services. If you cannot take care of your customers, you can never be successful in business. You require customer services. 
uzosabwa yuko ubakorera neza bakinya here is what uh, jack welch said binivyo jack welch yavuze uh, the ceo of ge general electric niwe asanzwe arongoye general electric uh, he said that customer service is not somebody's job but it's everybody's job Yavuze gufata neza abakriya si igikorwa cy'umuntu umwe ariko ni igikorwa cyabose If you are to be successful in your business and it doesn't matter how big or how small no kuvuga ugihe uri kuratwara ufise business yawo nimba ari ntoya cyangwa nini you will have to inculcate the culture of customer services to everyone in your organization utegeza gushira mo culture yo ya yi service clientele as you can see these guys are sitting on the boat and the boat has a hole on it and as you can see the guys are fisting near, near him near the guy who is scooping out the water and here is what they are saying they say fortunately the, the the hole is on the other side of the boat it's not on our side bachi bavuga ati rero cyane cyane ahubwo icyagitoboro kiri hariya ku rundi ruhande rw'ubwato ni byiza ko rutari ku ruhande rwacu they have forgotten that if this boat was to sink everybody sinks ariko bibage yuko buno bwato ge bwo kwibira bose bacabibira so customer services should be everybody's job ni uruhara gumwe wese in your organization if it is to be successful muri organization yawo nimba mwifuza ko batumutere imbere i'm going to show you few logos which represents brands ngiye kubereka amarogo amwamwe ahagarariye ama marque and basically what i want you to look at is what i want you to tell me is what comes to mind when i flash that logo you can just shout whatever whatever it is you can even say it in kirundi or in english amicho nifuza ko ndiki ko ndabereka amarogo yamashira hamwe muce muvuga ico mwiyumvira mu mu kuri ayo mashira hamwe ayo marogo are you ready muriteguye let's start ika dutangure motorcycle what else ikindi you just think motorcycles ama moto gusa Jack, big guys with arms. Umuntu akomeye cyane amaboko akomeye. What else? Ikindi nacho. What else? Jackets. Leather jackets. What else? Eh? Hey? What's that? What's this? Power boys, the boots. Okay, what else? Ikindi. Danger. Another one. Yeah, it's true. Ikindi nacho. Yeah, they they can kill humans. Warashura kwica abantu bana. Here is another one. Bushobozi. Eyindi nayo. What comes to mind? Soda. Lot of sugar ahead. Diabetes. Oh. <laughs> Very interesting. And you guys are great class. What do you think when you see this? You know nayo. This one. Communication. Fly. friends what else ikene nacho eh eh play okay here is another one you may not know this ikene nayo oh you know sandlam insurance what else do you think when you look at that mu bana bisigura iki muri avizicho i heard somebody say death or protection kurindwa okay here is another one inayo eh Steve jobs addiction oh i love it i love it okay what else yini nacho communication mtuma tumanako communication friendly quality Calite. expensive all, all those all those answers are correct what do you think about this one ama you know not you just do it oh 
Okay, so, so I've shown you all those uh, logos which represent brand. A, 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 a logo is not a brand. A logo is a representation of a brand. A brand is what comes to mind when you look at that logo. And it's all based on your personal experience. And if you were to, if I was to, to let you continue to unpack what you think, on each one of them. And you were making a list which says tangibles and untangibles. Your untangible list was going to be much longer than the tangible list. So, so in other words, in other words, the brand is that Personal experience. Brand that you have. And it's not always tangible. Most of what we experience about the brand is unseen than that which is seen. And so you are saying that So the way how you interact with your customers. And, and not just you, but everybody in your organization who deals with your interfaces with your, or interact with your customers. That experience is critical to the, to the future success of your company. This, this, picture, this picture you see on the, on the screens you know, photo moana hano. It is called a pointless painting. Isigura. Pointless painting. So, in other words, the painter who painted this picture didn't use a brush, but he used a, a pen. And what you see there is all different uh, dots. So he uses dots to draw up that picture. And we use this to say our brand lives in the minds of the people. And it is an impression created through their accumulated experiences of all the aspects of our company over time. So when you run an organization, you must know that every dot counts. Because once you miss some dots there, your picture will not be the same. And there is more of what you of, of what is unseen and intangible, as I said, what we see is just a tip of an iceberg. Why? Because the person who answers your phone is critical to your customers. What, what they say. The person who just experienced your customer is critical to the success of your, of your uh, business. The people who used to work for you are critical for the success or lack of it of your business. So you cannot look down upon issues of customer service. Whether you are dealing with internal customers or external customers. You must remember that your staff is your customer, are your customers. As an owner of the business, your staff are internal customers. And those who are buying from you are external customers. And that is why you can tell when you, get, when you go to an organization, you can tell 
by the morale of the staff and the temperature of the staff satisfaction can tell you if those people are, this is a good company to work for or not, just through the staff and their behavior. Did you say it all in Kirundi? It doesn't sound like it. Okay, here is your key brand relationship map. Sorry. Okay, oh. go ahead. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. That because man has been working I, I, I for the last because number of hours. So I appreci we appreciate you. Here is the key brand relationship map. Ah, uh, nuko ngo ibintu ngende gwa ko kugira ngo habe kumenyekanisha kugira imigenderanire. So you can use this whether you are in a government situation. Your clients are your are your citizens. If, if, if you are in a private business, you, 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 have, you, have, you have customers. And so I'm talking here about the relationship between the customer, the company, and the employee. So for your brand to be successful, uh, you cannot make it if you think you will just supply a good service to your customers and you don't care about this relationship. You, your company, your company delivers a talk uh, to the customers. Ngo ishira hamu jawe tadi gira chori vuzi kuba 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 kriya baawe. And your staff are, have to produce the work. Hanyuma abakozi na baka gira icho baka giri ugendo changu baka giri chumba kozi baka genda kuba kriya baawe. That talk we call it brand promise. Icho icho kivugua ni icho tukuita nuguga. Um, oh, brand, promise. brand promise. It says Rano. It says Rano. It says Rano. Yes. Yes, it says Rano. Brand promise. It just says Rano. Yes. And then the customers, I mean the cus I mean the employees must then provide the brand experience, which is the work. experience. So the company can only walk their talk through their staff. And so that is relationship between the company and the employee is what I call brand alignment. Yishira hamwe nabakozi niyo yitwa um brand alignment sangwe Kirundi bragwa Fortune magazine in 1997 they said in the in the 21st century branding ultimately will be the only unique differentiator between companies and they, and they said that brand equity is now a key asset Ero mukinya makuru chubutunzi chitwa watun bavuze yuko what they said oh should I go back yuko gutunganya ukumenyekanisha ari iryo ari go rupfunguruzo ibikorwa bari kwarakora so how you deliver your your service ngende ushikiriza abantu ico ri kurakora as in your relation your relationship with your customers ninge rugira imigenderane hamwe naba nabantu baza kugerera ibiri kuratanga that is where the brand is created niho rero ibijyane no kumenyekanisha navyo biheza bikagira igikorwa here is what dave rahili said nico uyu dev rahin yavuze executive at timex uh umuri cho timex he said, in response to the popularity of Swatch watches, 
in response to the popularity of SWAT watches. Mukugira ngo ashobore gushikira kubi kumenyekanisha cyane ya saha yitwa SWAT. He said we developed a wide range of fashionable watches. Twagerageje gukora amasaha afise ingene asa neza and they called a focus group much of jita each of us in number of yamukuru yumugui and he said at the focus groups the consumers loved the styles and designs hanyuma abaguzi bacha bakunda ingene vya kozwe ningene visa they loved it barabikunda but when they found out they were made by timex ariko bamaze kumenya iryo shira hamwe ya ikoze gitwa timex the consumers immediately lost interest ubwo nyene abari ko barabaguzi batarashikaho batakaza ukukunda ivyo izo ya masaba ariko baragura and then he said improving our product was easy kugira ngo dushobore gutuma ico kintu dalaza kibaciza gusumba byari vyoroshe but he said improving our company image was the real challenge ariko kugira ngo dushobore gutuma abantu bakunda iyi society yabikoze byabaye ikintu kigoye cyane all customers have expectations from, from, the, from their service providers and if they cannot experience that, that which they expect from you you can never be successful if i live my life the way i like and become something different from being a kingdom ambassador hanyuma ngaba ntandukanye ninge ntiye kuba umuserukizi w'ubwami bw'Imana and and people start to experience me differently from what they expect from me hanyuma abantu bagatangura kumbona ikinyura nyine cyo bari banyiteze ko then i even if i have a nice logo naho no bafise logo nziza and a nice website naho no bafise websites nziza they will just say ah bagwa bavuga bati Those who know me to be working with Dr. Miles Monroe. Abasanzwe manzi nage na yina Dr. Miles Monroe. Expect me to keep the standards. Barafisi cyo banyiteze ko kunguma kuri urwo rugezo nyene yarariko. They expect me to live my life straight. Biteze ko mbaho ubuzima bugororotse. So the moment I'm going to be found in a beer hall. Niba nsanga niko ndanywa inzoga hariya naburewe. That becomes the day where even the brand it doesn't matter how much I pay and who I pay Niyomanya to takaza. make me look good you will I will never be successful Niyomanya bitakaza gaciro ca gicapo na hora ndanza gutanga I may be successful if I go to the to to sell beer and announce Kumbure that now I'm a beer mbere, dealer ngiye kudandaza uwo nzoga kuko ari zo nyuma But from what they expect Ugo from me banyitezeko I got to keep the standards to ensure that the brand image is not tainted. That is how powerful branding is. Nico gituma ingene kugaragaza ivyo ugomba gukora ari kintu gihambaye cyane. Yes, a brand is a name. Ego niko ico twokwita ikimenyetso ni izina ugomba gutanga. It's a sign it's a symbol or design of, chapo, uh, or combination of this nikinu nikigaragaza and it's meant to identify the goods or services bitegeza kuba ari ibintu bigaragaza ico uwo mwimi cyangwa ibyo bintu wakoze les biens et les services cyangwa les produits et services once you tell the people who you are that's what they expect from you and you know what if you cannot deliver what they expect you to deliver you the show la kwa hicho bakwitezeko they start to talk to one another bacha batangura kuvugana hagati yao when you go to department a you get me department a from department b ugacha me department b department d has a friend who works at department a tusanga ari uri uwari me department c atanduka ni wala they already told them about your an ability to deliver babali oh, kwara kuvuga bavuga yuko utashobora kubaha ico bari bakwiteze oh your big talk with no work yuko uvuga uvuga amajambo menshi mugabo atafisi ibikorwa biyaherekeza so a branding ukugaragaza ibikora cyane it's a person outward feeling ni kimwe mu bigaragaza icuri indani muri wewe about a product or service bifatanye n'icuri kurakora uri kurakora kwa produit ou service very very powerful birakene birahambaye cyane 
Don't take branding for granted. Sometimes it's better to be not to, to not be known than to be known in a wrong way. That is why sometimes when your company is growing, it is fine for you not to make too much noise until you grow feathers to be able to fly. Can you imagine a moth Moth trying to brag to butterfly that I can fly. What, what is moth before a butterfly is start as a new worm? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So when you are a moth, appreciate your mothness. But you know that in you, you have got ability to fly. Appearing to your customers as a moth is better than appearing as a butterfly and not be able to fly. Hey. The time is gone. I, I have three minutes. Let me see what I can give you. Too much to give. Hmm. 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 You see, if you are a person who makes jokes, and you make business out of it, you can't come on stage and say, I'm just about to be funny. I'm going to make jokes and you're going to laugh. No, you know, comedians don't work like that. They come and start their thing. And as they, as they do what they do, it invokes laughter And that is you. Your customer services must always show who you are. Take it serious. If you deliver services, people will talk uh, to each other about you. You will get even more customers from referrals. Before I took the assignment to work with Dr. Miles Monroe full time. Way back in Tampa. Way back in 2009, I used to run a consulting business. And then I realized that I am not going to be able to give my customers this service if I am on this route. And at the time, it was a one man's business. It was a one-man business. So companies wanted me to be there. When I got that call, I decided to tell my clients, I'm not available anymore. Just to save my name. So that I don't get contracts which I can't fulfill. So don't allow yourself to take more than you can fulfill. That is customer services. God bless you. See you next time.